when Dr. Monteclavo offered me the opportunity to um, do a documentary, I really wanted to combat like the standard uh, stereotypical insecurities that we face as college students every day, whether it be um, fail, uh, scared to try or scared of failure or um, really not knowing enough of who we are. I really wanted to attack that and really show that we can face these issues and speak about them um, and open up our mind to them. Um, and I brought Seth along and he was uh, really down with the vision and helped out a great deal. Just like the video says, like there's not a bad and or dumb question. So if you're like, oh, I want to ask it, but this feels weird, just ask it. I don't know. We're not going to judge you. There's like, yeah, we're all friends. Part of the reason why me and Seth were laughing so much over there is because we saw all the mistakes that this was our first time watching it together. <laughs> and like since we made it and or since he made it and we saw all of the editing errors and the handshakes that came before the conversation actually ended because the conversation continued and so on and so forth. And I'm just cringing the entire time. Right. Um, and he's making fun of me. But that's the part about it, because in a way that's very, very similar into what life should and does look like. You know, it's very awkward. It's very uh, abnormal. But at the same time, it's very uh, true. You know, it's just living in truth. So I wouldn't want to do a second part because um, I'm content with this. Right. Um, what are your thoughts? What one word comes to mind? What captures your I can't the use, essence I can't of this? I use that like eight times. So <laughs> remember you asked that back in money. Maybe the word would be progress. Progress. Just because even thinking like watching this and going like even my contentment when I was done with this to go, oh, yeah, this is great. And then to sit over there and go, all right, it could probably use some work. <laughs> and just to see that in life where it's like, yeah, there's a level of contentment in the moment when you succeed. But the progress I got to see from then till now, I've grown immensely and so has Ruby and we've like, we've talked about wanting to do more. We didn't do videos together ever. And then we decided to do this. And then now we're like, maybe we should pitch to Viceland or Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> from seeing this, do you think that especially college students will like will their outlook on like failing and life will it change because after watching it I, i'm pretty sure i said that failing is not an option from the video i think because that was my mind you can rewind it if you want like no. <laughs> um that was definitely my mindset especially for this year because it's my last year so i was like i can't fail like i can't so it's just like do you think after watching that a lot of students their mindset will change or it's something they'll actually think about. Like, it's okay if this happens. I'll just keep going. Do you, because we have such a high, like, I don't know how to say, like, like, like he said, emphasis on, like, failing. So it's like we always... Or stigma. To, yeah. Kind of vilify it, right? Yeah, so do you think after, like, displaying this and showing this, like, constantly, like, college students, they will actually understand that it's okay? I think, um, hopefully, we look at it contextually different, like... Um, a lot of us consider failing to be an F, right? But um, for me, when I look at failure, um, the fact that some parts of this video wasn't edited to the way that I wanted to, it to be, that's, that's, I failed on that part. But at the same time, I could see the progress in it. I could see where I can work, where I can improve, so on and so forth. I think a lot of us... Um, like I said in the video, a lot of us adhere to the grade as the sovereign standard. And without it, we are nothing, but with it, we're everything. And reality is that's not true. You know, whether you get a B or a C in a class, it doesn't necessarily define who you are. And I feel like a lot of college students put um, their value in their work. And so then they become a lesser student and then they become less creative and less uh, passionate to participate in school or participate outside of school and their whole outlook on life changes. So uh, my answer is yes, I would hope that, you know, through watching this 30 something minute video um, that your outlook would change or a college student's outlook would change even a little bit. But, um, you know, who's to say? Watching this video, does it make you feel less bad that you don't have a clear cut idea of what you want to do even after you finish college that it's okay to not know 
what you want to do and there's other people in the same category as you? Um, yeah. And even not, not only the people that don't know what they want to do, but the people that want to do something other than what their major is, you know? Um, I think a lot of times we view ourselves as our own world and we think that we're alone when in actuality half the people are going through, half the people in the school are going through the same exact thing, you know? Um, and I think what this video was made to do, it kind of, for me, even while doing it, it was a lot of fun because at the same time while I'm doing it, I'm going through what I'm speaking about. And um, it helped clear my mind to focus on what I actually did want to, want to do or what I, my passion actually was or what even some creative talents that I didn't know that I had, it helped bring those out even. So I think uh, to answer your question, yes, uh, it has. This is interesting you, you mentioned that because when I see the video, I also remember my own experience being here and how there was the stress and the classes and trying to pass the classes, chemistry kicked my butt a lot. So same. Yeah. yeah. Well, I finally passed it at my new school that I'm at, but you know, but it's, it's pretty reassuring to know that even you don't have to be an A student or have like the best grades to be considered successful or doing something meaningful. I was never an A student. I've tried, but chemistry, biology, and math kind of made sure that didn't happen. Um, but it's pretty reassuring to know that put aside the degrees and everything that you are still, you still matter. What you do still matters. And where you go from here, it's on you to choose whether wherever you want to go yeah that's that's basically the point um thank you yeah hi um i just wanted to like ask creating this like documentary and stuff for your senior project did it help you find a direction into what you wanted to do like like did it create like a positive direction for yourself yeah 100 percent um so currently right now i uh I'm in the business of marketing and events uh, for Nike. I work uh, Nike corporate. And within that job, I really get to be creative and like think of, you know, crazy ideas to, you know, market product and so on and so forth and really speak to com the community at hand. Um, and I think this video has helped with that because it's allowed me to um, really show me that my path is bigger than what I thought it was. You know, coming into school, I thought my path was gonna be nursing and then I thought it was gonna be healthcare management. And like, all right, I'm gonna do healthcare management for the rest of my life, so on and so forth, and I'm gonna enjoy it, or at least make money and half enjoy it. Um, but it really showed me that like, you know, there's more to me than I think, which is why I ask students, you know, who do you say that you are? Who do you think you are? It's because a lot of students will, uh, you know, kind of, shrink themselves to just their major. And it's just like, no, you're really a lot more than that. You're a brain, you're a creative powerhouse. A lot of you guys have talents that you haven't even tapped into or explored yet, you know, all because, you know, um, you've you just relegated yourself only to your major. So I think it has helped a lot. Um, I know with you, with, I, I don't know how much it's, yeah, you could try to answer this one for yourself as well. Uh, I still make videos. <laughs> uh, that hasn't changed. Uh, trying to get him to make more videos. I don't know. I'm trying to do it in public now. Shame, maybe a little bit of shame. I did want to talk about the time I showed up at 5 a.m. If you want to talk about that. No, no, we're not going to talk. I showed up at 5 a.m. because he was joking with me. I showed up here. I was like, I don't think they have classes at 5 a.m. It was fun. I just hung out at Starbucks. It was great. <laughs> but no, uh, yeah, I still make videos. Uh, nothing's changed. All right, some context to the story because he just he's gonna give half of it and ba yeah. <laughs> basically, um, he texts me what time do we shoot the next morning, uh, the the night before, and I said five. Um, 
And obviously I'm at 5 p.m. because who shoots at 5 a.m.? And then he was like, a.m. p.m. I said a.m. as a sarcastic joke, um, just kind of looking into who I am introspectively. And he actually showed up for 5 a.m. Um, but that just goes to show um, really how much I think it was a lot of fun making it. Uh, not that that answers your questions or that anyone needed any of this information. But yeah. <laughs>